How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of mystery beer time. Hopefully some delicious goodness time in the form of mystery beers. Um, yeah, this one comes courtesy of Chuck from Illinois. Thank you very much. He wrapped this in a very, very soft and sultry Vita, or Viva paper towel. It feels like high-end shit right there with the classic blue painter's tape. Done and done. Look at that sucker. Chibi and mystery beer. What are mystery beers? Mystery beers are beers that... People wrap up, they send them to me, I open them, I drink them, I talk about them. So that's, I guess, the beer itself. More times than not, it's actually kind of just digging into, you know, what's in the beer, what style of beer it is, all that fun stuff. So, let's see if we can have some fun with this sucker. Ooh, okay. What do we got going on here, buddy? Yeah. That, my friends, from a distance, looks to me like a couple different things. It could be Saison. Uh, could be some kind of like whole schlager, unfiltered version of that. Could be a Berliner Weiss. Could be a couple different things. Quite light. It looks like something light of body, maybe slight tart, acidic kind of Berliner kind of kettle base to it. Um, yeah, but I mean, from a distance, it just looks like, you know, kind of like a little bit of a murky Saison kind of unfiltered beer. Nothing too crazy. A little bit of white head on her. Nothing too telltale, other than the fact that she's pretty damn light. Let's get a nose. That is, hmm, what is that? That's somebody's lager. It's somebody's, it, it smells like a lager base. There's a slightly, slightly, not huge, but a slightly little funky kind of sulfury lager thing going on. And that's pretty much it. There's a weird fruit note in there. And I, wait, I should backtrack on that. It's not weird. It's just, I can't place it. That's why it's weird to me, because I can't place it. But it might even be more, no, that's definitely a fruit component. I don't know if it's uh, yeast. It's more, I'm thinking it's more of a yeast phenolic than an actual hop thing. But you're getting a soft, like, lager vibe off of the nose. The soft fruit component that comes off probably a little bit like more like a tropical fruit, like uh, kiwi melon, but very, very subtle. I mean, we're talking super light here. And that's pretty much it. Really, not much to it. Um, small beer, it smells like a small, just kind of base, kind of colch, probably going a little bit, maybe more, a little bit more colchy than like Pilsner like, because I'm not really getting a bittering component off. Comes a little bit kind of fruity. Um, you know, a little haze to it, not too crazy, but that's what the nose says. Let's see what the taste says, because it might be something completely different. Cheers. Okay. It's, it's, it's a kettle sour. And there's a slight, soft tartness to it. Mmm. This is somebody's Berliner, but it's very, very small. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like, this is almost like kombucha, to be perfectly honest with you. It's like someone's version of a beer kombucha, so it's kind of like, like a three, three and a half percent kind of vibe kind of beer to it. And there's almost like a passion fruit kind of lychee thing going on in there. No booze whatsoever. A little bit of soft tartness. Soft fruitiness. There's a bittering component to it, but it's not really showing hops off hops. This really comes off more like a kombucha to me, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah. Yeah, so boysenberry, kombucha, um, lychee. Um, passion fruit kind of thing. Very subtle. Um, with a subtle tartness to it. No booze whatsoever. So, uh, like I said, if, if this is an alcoholic beverage, it's going to be, it has to be sub 4%. Unless they're hiding it. I could see it being 4. I'm not going to be too angry if it if it's like 4, 4.5, 5. But I think this is sub 4% if it is an alcoholic beverage at all. I could see it being some kind of artisanal kombucha from a brewery or something like that. Or maybe it's an alcoholic version of a kombucha. That's where it lies for me. So that's what I'm going to call it. This is somebody's kettle sour. I don't know if it contains alcohol. I don't think it does. 
but it's certainly good. And it's got a soft fruit tartness to it, so there's something like a boysenberry kind of lychee kind of um, passion fruit subtle addition to it. Done and done. Well, let's see what we have here. It's going to be an imperial stout is what it's going to be. Let's see, the puzzle. The puzzle to get this unwrapped. One more and we should be good. Oh, extra wrapping. What do we have here? Okay. Pipe works. Okay. Goodbye, you guys. Uh, nice slice. Pipe works with the key lime goza. Didn't get the goza por or portion at all. Um, it didn't have any, if any, salinity to it. Now, I get the key lime portion in the show. That's fine. It says here, sour out with lactose. Okay. I can actually get that now. There's like a soft vanilla character on my tongue that really wasn't there unless you let the beer kind of sit. With key lime juice and cinnamon and vanilla, I, you know, I really didn't get cinnamon in it at all. Five percent alcohol by volume. I am getting that vanilla though. I am getting that lactose and vanilla that I definitely missed on there. This is a killer fucking label, by the way. Look at that. So yeah, it really just came off more kombucha-like than anything else. I mean that that lime juice adds that little bit of acidic note to it. I was talking about it's more of that acidic thing than a flavor thing, even though it has a a fruit tartness to it. Um, I don't get the salinity in there. Cinnamon and vanilla, I, I, you know, I get the whole cinnamon thing, I guess, to a point, but I'm very, very... What's the word I'm looking for? Cinnamon's hard for me because I eat so much cinnamon every day. I think I'm a little bit kind of... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? A little bit of... God, words are hard today. Um, just used to cinnamon. And, uh, yeah, I don't mind what I said on it, though. But, yeah, it came up. I thought it was someone was trying to fuck me up. Or Chuck was trying to fuck me up with uh, with something that might not have been alcoholic, because it really does not even come off close to 5%. But, uh, yeah, fun little beer. I dig this. I dig the label. I could drink this all day long. This is something I drink as a just an everyday beverage, not necessarily a beer or alcohol thing, hence the kind of kombucha vibes that I got off of it. I dig it. I think it's fun. I think it's tasty. That was a fun one, especially because I didn't nail it. When you don't nail it, those are fun the funnest mystery beers of all time. So let's talk about it. Is it one of the better... Gozas that I've had as of late. Actually, it would almost default to a no because I don't really get the Goza portion of the show, the Berliner portion of the show. Let's say Kettle Sour. It's one of the better Kettle Sours I've had as of late. Yes. That in and of itself. I was reading the style, which I would never do. Um, it, it doesn't really, you know, kind of land for me. But as far as just a Kettle Sour, it's pretty damn tasty stuff. Value and availability. You know, I have no idea. Uh, we do get pipework stuff here in Jersey, but I don't think we see anything like this. It's more their staple stuff, so maybe Chuck or somebody out there in the old Illinois can let us know what's what. Leave you with, if you like what we you like this beer, if you like kombucha, if you like low ABV crushers, if you like gozas, and more specifically, if you just like really tasty, non-over-the-top, not acidic, um, very gentle Berliners. This is definitely going to do you proper. That lactose, that vanilla, and those spices are very, very, very subtle, as they should be with a beer this small, and it just kind of adds just a little bit of depth to it. Um, but yeah, super tasty stuff. Fun beer. Thank you very much, Chuck. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, down there, if you want to talk about it, Massive Beers, if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive, if you want to check me, uh, check me out doing the whole podcasting thing, and Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice little pipe works jammer right now. And hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.